Hello, everyone, and welcome to the program. I'm Shane Walking Baloye in Lagos. We start today's program with the breaking news that we've got, gotten here on China's television. The federal government said alleged looters list it released is not arbitrary. They have released more names. They say it's batch two. They said the list of alleged looters which it released earlier was based on verifiable facts, including the amount involved, the date the amount in question was collected, and from where it was taken. We have the list and keep you posted with details and analysis don't go anywhere, stay with us. So let's get started on this note. It's 320 days to the 2019 general elections. The usual theatrics, strategy, and politicking of the season have been intensified. There is no turn in the blind eye. If the opposition says this, the ruling party fires back. When the ruling party says something, the opposition replies. So within these strings of communication are those who are observing from the sidelines. There are also commentators, those who feel the need to either use a platform available or their influence to shape perception. Former Army General Teofilos Danjuma had on Saturday, March 24th, 20, 2018, during the convocation ceremony of the Taraba State University, said Nigerians were being slaughtered by deadly groups because the armed forces were not neutral. That is, uh, those are some of his words there. The Nigerian army dismissed these allegations by saying such statements are inflammatory and should be disregarded. And here is the latest on that. The president has said, well, T.Y. Danjuma's comments were shocking and scary and uh, criminal gangs would feel justified in defying legal, governing, and democratic institutions, an authority of legitimately elected democratic government, if unrestrained pronouncements are made. Let's get into the conversation now, or perhaps let me quickly remind you of what General Danjuma said. So some of you who have missed it, perhaps you were not in the country at the time, or maybe you were in a place where there was no network. Let me remind you of what he said. But the peace in this state is being, is under assault. There is an attempt at ethnic cleansing in this state, and of course in all the riverine state of Nigeria. We must resist it. We must stop it. Every one of us must rise up. The armed forces are not neutral. They collude. They collude. They collude with the armed bandits that kill people, kill Nigerians. They facilitate their movements. They cover them. So let's get some uh, words from the presidency. There was a, a statement released by the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Malam Garabashew. But he joins us now to give clarity to some of those uh, texts that is sent to the media. Many thanks, uh, Malam Shew, for your time on the program tonight. So let's get clarity on what the federal government means by some of uh, uh, the, the text in the text that you released. You they said the presidency is is very worried that criminal gangs will feel justified in the defined legal governing and democratic institutions. But if you look at the trend of things now, it looks so much that the former friends of the president, uh, those who he served with, and some of whom were his senior or juniors, are not on the same page, especially when it's uh, security issues. This is scary, isn't it? Well, it has everyone worried, all right. But, uh, you know, I mean, trying to be as uh, polite as we can, uh, one would say that, uh, yes, there are legitimate concerns that uh, citizens have on security, and the government of President Muhammad Buhari shares in those concerns and is doing whatever it can in order to stem, uh, you know, those uh, crises, those killings, and so on. And I think if uh, people would be fair to the administration, you know, there has been significant improvement in the last few weeks on this situation. Things are being brought gradually under control. And uh, certainly we will succeed against uh, all of these things. Now, the thing about, uh, you know, 
this statement then, it was not in particular directed at any one single individual, but every influential official, but influential Nigerians who had spoken along these lines. And, and to say to them, we appreciate your concern. However, I, you know, a line is crossed where, you know, somebody says, jumps in to say that, uh, you know, the armed forces of this country are the same as the enemy. Now, that, that really takes it too far. I, I don't want to use the words that, that uh, but, but I think that this, is, this has the capacity, this is to, to jeopardize national security at an important uh, moment such, was, such as we're in. Uh, um, uh, Mr. Shewu, the, the big question is when former generals speak, not, uh, when, they, when they speak not about health or about engineering or about food, they're talking about security, which is the forte of their training when they were in service. Are you saying that Nigerians should not listen to this kind of people? Because we have heard former President Olusha Gombasanjo speak about some of these issues relating to security situations in Benue and in some central, not central region of the country. We've also heard a report and about a letter also written by a former uh, head of state, uh, Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida. And now we are hearing from uh, a former defense minister, um, uh, T.Y. Danjuma. Uh, the question, a lot of Nigerians Nigerians would like to know or, or hear from you is the fact that are these not enough eminent Nigerians for us to now start to think about the state of things in Nigeria, especially what lesson the presidents or the presidency are taking away from these words of these people? Well, um, all of the people you mentioned who spoke at one point or the other, you know, that uh, this is a listening government and the reaction then was of silence and to say to them, we have heard you and we will listen to the useful advice you have given us. We will take what we can use from what you have said. As I said, this, the difference that uh, some of the recent remarks make is that, is that it is a call to arms by ethnic entities take up arms against the armed forces of Nigeria. Because the army, the, all of them, they are the enemy. I think there's a clear difference from what we've had before. 